Hi everyone, Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. I have with me on the phone today, Posey, who is week four winner of the launch. Welcome, Posey. <laughs> Welcome, Posey. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? How are you holding up with the media frenzy? I'm pretty good. I feel like I had a big boost of adrenaline yesterday because it was like the coolest thing I'd ever done. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think I'm doing pretty well. Great, great. It's got to be crazy to hold on to the secret for so long, saying, oh, yeah. hey, I won, I won! <laughs> Uh, because all of this was done in the fall of 2017, right? Well, actually, my episode was um, the first one that we filmed, so it was actually done in August. Oh, my. So wow. it's been like six months almost. Oh, I don't know if I yeah. could keep a secret that long. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at it, I guess. I think I like just started believing when I was telling people when I said I didn't know what was happening with the show so much that it started to a background about yourself. I know that we have a show on Wednesday night. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you're 22 unless you had a birthday since the show. I did have a birthday, so I'm 23 now. Oh, awesome. Well, belated happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you're from London? Um, no, so my like, where I'm from is really confusing. Um, so I was born in Halifax. Oh. Um, and then I lived in Nova Scotia until I was like seven. Um, and then my dad works for the RCMP. So then we moved to Hamilton. Um, mm -hmm. And then that's where I primarily grew up. Um, and then I went to Western for university. And so I lived in London for the past like seven years. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, yes, because when it came up on the screen where you're from, it said Ancaster, which I know was in the Hamilton area. And, yeah. But uh, all Sometimes the... I said London. It was just so confusing. <laughs> Do you sound like me? You've lived all over. So it's like, where are you from? Hmm. Well, I'm yeah. currently residing in is usually how I put it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so how did music start in your life? Yeah, um, so I started taking piano lessons when I was five, um, just because, like, my parents put me in it as, like, a good extracurricular, um, and then I liked it, um, and my dad always was, like, really big into music, but neither of my parents can, like, play an instrument or anything, um, and I actually used to get in trouble when I would go to preschool because they would play a lot of like East Coast, like pub music for me when I was a kid. And then I would go and like sing like Raggle Taggle Gypsy O for like all these <laughs> other friends my teachers would get upset. Um, and then, yeah, when I was nine, I, I started like actually kind of singing and taking some lessons. And then I just really liked it. Great, great. You had mentioned that uh, you really got hooked on on classic rock when you went yeah. to see We Will Rock You, the musical. Mm -hmm. That uh, being a fan of, of cl musicals in general, like I've seen all the theater musicals, I absolutely love them. Um, and We Will Rock You has to be up there as one of the best for sure. Uh, oh, that's so amazing. <laughs> so that was kind of a pivotal point in your life where it just sort of changed what you wanted to do. Is that right? Yeah, like, um, I think up until that point, I, I hadn't really been exposed to, like, larger-than-life kind of music like that. Like, Queen is so, like, orchestral, but also, like, really rocky. Um, and I just, like, didn't know that it could be that way. So then I, like, downloaded, like, a whole bunch of, like, Led Zeppelin and The Who and, you know, Tragically Hip and all that. And I really liked it. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Well, it's good music to listen to. Um, <laughs> I, I, I know that music when it originally came out. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's definitely it's it's really good. So let's talk about the launch. You yeah. you you get uh, accepted to us. You looked absolutely lovely. Oh, thank um, you. you could see a little bit of the nerves, but uh, that they seem to melt away a little bit as you were performing uh mm -hmm. so you chose the song creep by radiohead you gave mm -hmm. a little bit of a uh explanation as to why you picked that um can you just recap on some of that and and add to it if you like yeah so um i i really like creep first of all because i really liked at 
Radiohead um, when I was younger and like the 90s grunge music. Um, but also like I grew up like super awkward and like gangly and tall and was never like super popular among my peers. Um, so I, I always like felt like kind of weird and like I didn't totally fit in because everyone was going for these like really linear traditional paths in life and I like wanted to be a huge rock star and I was like why can't I just be like everyone else um but I like the song because it's like I am like weird and like maybe a lot of people don't like that but like I want you to like me anyway Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well weird is good and when you stand out that means you've got something that not everybody else has so embrace Mm -hmm. it (laughs) and you have and look where it's got you I I guess it went pretty far (laughs) yes yes and this is only the beginning really like I know you've been working for many years but this you know it's called the launch for a reason this is exciting Mm -hmm. um now, I, I, with your audition, I, I loved some of the uh, comments that were made. Fergie said she was tearing and had chills all over her body. And mm-hmm. Stefan, who I absolutely adore, uh, said, mm-hmm. you, you, He's great. Yes, said you are haunting and beautiful, which totally describes your whole performance right there. Oh, thank uh, you. I know Evanescence creeped several times. Mm -hmm. My first impression of you was you definitely have that sound of Amy Lee from Evanescence. That's such a huge compliment. I love Evanescence. And you also remind me of Taylor Swift when she first started out. Oh, cool. Has anyone said that, actually? Nobody has said that? Like. No. Obviously, she's blonde. You're well, actually, brunette, I know but... Scott said that. So really? I feel like that's a good person. <laughs> ah, like just just mannerisms and look and and certain things like that, and this whole um, innocence that you have, uh, mm-hmm. which uh, which goes with the age. I'm sure it's you know I'm an older girl, so. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> But yeah, it's it's one of the things I went. Wow, yep, she's got the Taylor look. Yep, oh, <laughs> the voice of Amy, it's the tallness, <laughs> the voice of Amy, and the look of yes, it's it's a great combination, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me about the recording process. Uh, there were some struggles along the way, as we all saw, um, and and you were definitely exhausted. You kept saying, "I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know how, if I can do this." So tell me a bit about that and how you were able to push through it yeah um I think it was like one of those moments where like being like a human caught up with me a little bit just because like all those scenes in the studio like took place like very very late at night just Mm -hmm. because of like the time constraints of the show um and so I had a couple moments where I was like I just want to like sit down for a second and like they're asking you to repeat this phrase over and over and over again um but then you like remember, oh my god, I'm in the studio. It's so amazing, and like this is my one shot, and I just have to be like so grateful to be here right now. And I just kept like trying to like ground myself and come back. And I drank a lot of tea. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tea. Tea is a godsend. I swear. Uh, I did. <laughs> throat coat, especially. I love. The... That's what I had. I was just uh, thinking. That. I there's that, and there's a blend of Tetley that I I drink now that also helps when I can't get throat coat. So Uh I yes, (laughs) being someone from musical theater, I understand the need for something not too hot, but warm just to. Yeah. I always like it lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And a little bit of organic honey. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Taking care of your throat. One Oh (laughs) one. So you went through the recording portion of it and then came the performance and I know they kept talking about your spirit animal, and you said a deer, which I thought was so cute. And they're saying lion. Um, I'm going to put the female version on that and say, no, you found your inner lioness. Oh, you know what? No one has said that either. <laughs> <laughs> so when someone says lion, I said, no, 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 I'm taking the Because fe- when you think about it, um, the female lion is... She's the one that does all the work. Exactly. Exactly. So uh-huh. it was it was absolutely incredible to watch that. Um, I, I, I love the one shot where you could see Stefan just jumping up and down during your performance there. He was just so excited. And yeah. and you could definitely tell he you were his pick. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> so when they announced that you were going to be the artist to be launched for this week, um, mm-hmm. is is it still a blur, or did did seeing it take you back to to the feelings that you felt you you were kind of numb at the time? By the looks yeah, of it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just like everything like stopped working in my brain, and I was like, I think this is a really big deal, but I think it's too big for me to even like fully <laughs> understand right now. Um, and then I cried, and then like I don't, it was just like so weird because like I think like if you dream about something for a really really long time, and then you actually like get a little piece of it, it's just like what? Like it act it actually if you believe it works, like what? <laughs> And yeah, it's so weird. It's it's got to be incredible to, as they have that that dream, and then all of a sudden it's like it happens, and you're going, mm-hmm. "Is this real? Am I real? Am I dreaming this? Don't wake me up if I am." <laughs> yeah, I'll just stay here. <laughs> uh, so I know the days following, uh, you have a lot of media, and it's just it's crazy. So, mm-hmm. what is in store for you after? the media blitz yeah for sure um well I really want everything to keep going like I by no means want this to be the coolest thing that ever happened to me I want it to just you know keep getting more and more fun um and uh you know I've been writing a lot recently so um I'm hoping to go back into the studio and make some more music get more songs out um and I know that we're working on a tour right now um, so there's some big things coming up. That's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. I yes. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> I went to a city near you. <laughs> well, I hope so. Like I travel uh-huh. all over um, Ontario, and uh-huh. so definitely if if they do something where you're all out performing, I will definitely come out and see it. Hope and get That's to meet so you nice. all. <laughs> get to meet you all because I'm I'm seriously falling in love with all of you each week is just incredible i absolutely love it and and i have to and i have to mention there was one tweet that logan stats uh posted while you're performing that was just Mm -hmm. so moving like even he is is a huge huge fan of yours they Mm -hmm. just yeah you have all these new fans and yeah it's really nice because i feel like um with the nature of the show since it's not like really a competition per Mm -hmm. se in a traditional way everyone is really supportive of each other and like whenever an episode airs like we all like will be on because none of us have ever really met in real life Mm -hmm. um so we all will like go on social media and like tweet at each other and be like oh my god that song was so good or like your outfit was amazing (laughs) so it's it's really nice it's a good community Yes, it is. It is. Well, I wish you all the best and congratulations again on having the number one song on <laughs> iTunes. Thank you. All genres. That's impressive. And even everybody else, they're still in, in the top 100, which is just incredible mm-hmm. to see. It's amazing. Yes, yes. God knows what he's doing. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. Enjoy the journey, my dear. Thank have, you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I do hope to see you soon. Yes, okay. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We've been speaking with Posey from The Launch, and I am Linda Helpin for Canadian Beats.